today. It is, we're gonna work as partners, but if you came by yourself, you're totally fine. You're gonna choose to be my partner or choose to be his. It's not a competition. It's not, but we will be competing. We're both threes. <laughs> we will be. So today's workout, we have two, um, two things we're doing. One of us will be doing a strength move for a certain number of reps. The other has to do a cardio move until we finish. Once we finish with our reps, since I'm pointing to myself, I guess I'll do strength first. Okay. All right. Once I finish with my number of reps, we switch, and now he does strength while I do cardio. And we're doing it in AMRAP format. Let's go ahead and start a jog here. Just oh, yeah. yeah. Up. We're going to do it in AMRAP format, which means I'm going to do a timer for two and a half minutes. Your goal is to get through as many rounds as you can. So you won't be doing the same thing we are at the same time unless you're working as our partner. So if you came together with a partner, you're working off of each other. But if you did it and you're working with us, then you will be on the same round. So that's kind of our loose plan. I'm gonna keep moving. You warm up however you need to today. Marcus is gonna tell us a little bit about our uh, focus today, our teaching. How's our audio? I don't know why I'm asking you because I can't read your comments from way back no, here, but no, hopefully our audio is good. I also did not put my plane in airplane, my phone in airplane mode. So mom, if you're watching, don't call because it'll cut off the video. So let's just keep rolling here. Maybe sure. we could even do it with us. What do you say, Mom? I'm talking to you. Okay. All right, Mark, see what you got. Okay, so our scripture focus today is going to be Matthew uh, chapter 14, verses 22 through 33. It's one of my favorite passages in the Bible where the disciples are in the boat on the water and Jesus walks on the water uh, and comes out to them. Um, Several key points that we'll talk about as we go through um, here with uh, the reaction that Peter had when he got out of the boat, he came to the Lord, but then he looked around and he started to sink. Um, so, some key points that we'll talk about as we go through. We talk about key points now, or do we? Where do you go now? What the hell are you going to do it, man? You know, the, one of the main things that I wanted to talk about, this this actually came up last week when we were exercising, the, the Lord brought this to my mind. It's the idea that as long as Peter kept his mind and his focus on Jesus, yeah. he was on top of the water. Yeah. As soon as he started to look at what was around, his circumstances, the wind and the waves, yeah. he began to sink. Yeah. Um, but then when he called out to the Lord, he shouted, Lord, save me. And it says in the Bible, immediately Jesus reached down and picked him up. I love that. Oh, gosh, there's it's just so many good things in that passage to talk about. Yeah. So, uh, first thing that we want to focus on is in this time of uncertainty, uh, unemployment, health, uh, scary stuff like that, keep our focus on Jesus. He's got yeah. a plan for us. Where are you uh, looking? That's we just right. have, to, we have to trust Him. Where are so. we looking? I love that. Good job. Thanks. All right. A proud That's moment right. Okay. We're ready to jump in. I'm already out of breath. So if there's that, okay. he's already ready to 5K today. So you modify however you need to, however you need to move today. It's right. So if you can't squat, cat raise. If you can't. Job, just hey, what if you did this? You can tap your toe the whole time. I'm just asking you to move, okay? All right, we have seven rounds. So this workout, start to finish, is gonna take about 21 and a half minutes. We'll do two and a half minutes of work, 30 second break to transition you to the next one. So, are we ready? Are you gonna, you're gonna I am, start? I'm just sawing for a second. Right, are we ready? No we should tell them what we're doing first. First set, those who are with me, strength set. We're gonna bend forward and we're going eight bent over rows. Now, I could do two and stop and take a break. He's gonna be squat jumping the whole time. So till I'm done, he's hitting squat jumps. If that's too much, what's the modification? Just a squat. What if that's too much? Then, then we're gonna march. Perfect, perfect march or, or calf raises, just wherever you wanna yeah. be. Yeah. But don't quit, okay? So grab your weights. If you're with me, strength people, let's go. If you're with Marcus, oh good, that's filming. I thought I forgot to hit record. If you're with Marcus, Squats, squat jumps, marches. How are your legs feeling? They're uh, they're okay right now. Yeah. All right. Okay. Can I borrow those heavier weights for these? All right. Three, yeah. two, one. Here we go. Here we go. So I'm switching my heavier weight because I want to push hard today. Have you I'm started? Eight reps. This is it. Timer's going. You know what? Okay. Here we go. I think I'm at five. How are you feeling? Should I slow down? Six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna trade. You take those. And we're going to cardio. So one, if you're with me, two, you switch over. Three, you're working with your partner. Four, you go on your timing. So it's six, an eight rep, seven, which means eight. We're thirty seconds in. We got two and a half I minutes. I told so you this was. You feel like that's too long? Crazy. Yeah. Just that I told you live on the internet because every white <laughs> likes that. Ready? That's what we want to hear. Yes, dear. 
Husband tells you I told you four. Five, how you feeling? Uh, start to burn. Six, I'm not reporting on rep one. All right, I'm at seven. That was eight. Get going. That was eight. Eight, all right, your turn. It might have been. Remember how I said give me this heavy weight? I was counting. I think I'm changing my mind on that. One. Come on, my heavier weights. Two. I got some pink ones Three. back there. Four. They're heavier. Five. How many am I at? Six. Oh, it doesn't matter. How seven. Many Eight. Holy moly. We should have practiced this ahead of time. Oh, he's probably thinking I told you nope. about that too. He did say that to me. Okay. So cardio people, you're waiting on your strength, buddy. Oh. All right, so my time. Tell me about the B's and H's. You got those? B's and H's. Breathless, yeah. burning, weight should feel heavy. heavy you hot. should be generating heat. That's right. Seven, eight. We got one minute left here. All right, I'm oh, sorry, you need this. Yeah. Good job, I was getting an extra squat in for you. Four. Three, four. I'm glad he's quick. Five. Mature. Six. Wishing you were muscle seven, right now, aren't you? Eight. Oh, okay. Keep going. As many rounds as possible. As many rounds as possible. What if they have to rest? You rest. Right. Rest till you're ready to come back. Because resting is not quitting. That's right. Ah, that's a good thing. I'm resting right now. Ah. If you came here looking for really just stellar perfection, keep on going. Sit in place. We're going to give you what we got. You only got 15 seconds. And that's eight. Come on, get in a few more. Okay. Get in a few more. Ten seconds. Oh. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's 2.30. One down. Y'all get to rest. Rest? We're going to show you what comes next. Y'all right. rest. Strength person. Stiff leg deadlift. Hips go back. Eight reps. Cardio person. Jump ropes. How are you going to do that? I like to do like this. Two you probably don't. All right. We got 10 seconds to enjoy that. And then we're going to deadlifts. Or jump ropes, you pick. It's like that fan's not even moving. You want to it's move? hot in here. Nope, we've got time. Three, two, one. Here we go. Here we go. Eight reps. Ah, if you need to rest, you totally can. We're just uh, playing. I like jumping rope like this. Watch, I'll cross. Hey! That's right. No way to mess that up. Unless you pee your pants. Ladies, feel me on that one. I'm at six. I'm at seven. I'm at eight. If you've got a partner, you go with them. But if not, you're with me. Is that door opening because it's a kid? Or just because we jumped in open? Three. Who knows? Who knows what's going Four. Good job. Five. Give him a little lower. A little lower. There you go. Yes. My hamstrings are tight. Yeah. Seven. Eight. Eight. Good job. I'm getting our bigger ones. Your deadlifts, we can go heavy here. We can go heavier. We'll push you a little bit on this board. Huh? So, we did the workout last week, and I told Marcus that I was going to have him pray at the end. I forgot. Yeah. So then we end, and he was like, oh, the Lord told me something to say. And it was this passage. He was supposed to talk about taking his eyes off of Jesus and what happens when we do that. Yeah. So that's how we picked that for today. So I'm excited to see what's going to come out of it. All right, you're up. Pick up those pink ones. They're our heaviest. I did have some even heavier Green one, go a little lower. There you go. Man, that's good for him. Turn sideways so they can see. Three. His back stays nice and flat like it's supposed to. Mine Four. Not. Hey! Five. Squeeze when you stand, right? Squeeze the glutes. <laughs> Just what my hand are wanting to do. That's right. I feel like this jump rope's not really enough. Eight. Eight. We're in each other's way here. Oh. All right. So we can look for Jesus in the storm because, you know, Jesus came walking to them. So they were watching, they were like, hey, is that Jesus coming? But then we also get to choose to look to Jesus through the storm. Right. Through the storm, right? That we stick with them and our gaze stays set. I already forgot how many that was. We That's seven. Let's do one more just in case. <laughs> I feel like those jump ropes aren't enough. Do you? I'm okay. Uh, we got we got five other All right. exercises. We're doing great here. You Good know, news is, I think I'm trying to pick it up a little bit. You know something else that I picked out that I'd never noticed before? Yeah, what? Jesus, when he came to them on the water, he told them, don't be afraid. Yeah. Take courage. Take courage. I am here. I love that. He was there. I love that. So we didn't need to be afraid. One more. And he still 
still here now, right? Whatever you're walking through, he could say the same words. He's here. He's not just going before, he's also with you actively right now in this moment. And that changes things. So when you're not quite sure what's gonna happen with your finances, or your business, or your loved ones, or your health, we can take heart and say, he's here. He's here. Yeah, that was it. Three, two, one. I was having so much fun. Oh, you're good. It was sad. That one went quite hard enough, I think. All right. Round three, you rest. Strength move is a curl press. Curl press. I'm going to rotate that, but you don't have to. Yeah, he rotated too. So, curl press, curl, uh, cardio move, option, butt kickers. If you can't do that, one at a time. Or high knees. Can't do that, high knees. March or jog. Not the arms. Did Not you see the look he gave me? Did you see that? Where the cameras? I like the arms. All right, we're going for it in three, in two, one. I already set my timer, so I will get it right this time. Oh, okay. Let's try these 15. Let me see. All right, curl, rotate, press. I got eight, and this is going to take me a while, so get settled in there. I don't want your strength person to rush here. So form over speed, they're all right. You keeping your core tight? No, I'm not squeezing like I should. How about glutes? Yeah. Squeeze glutes. He loves when I say that. That came out wrong. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, that was, how many was that? Four? Keep going there, yeah. sir. I need, you, I need you count. Six. When I talk, you know, a little bit. Seven. Seven. Where's your gaze? Huh? Are you looking to Jesus? Yes. Yeah? Where are your you? circumstances? Hup. All right, that was eight. Now, your turn. Try this. Okay. All right, if you're working with me, One. we're back to cardio. This is a little bit Two. of a mess. I hope you're a mess at your house. Three. Whatever you're doing. Fear will sink you. Four. Faith. With faith, you can walk the water. Right? Five. He's quick. Yep. Whoever's my partner, you're glad right now. Seven. Good job, we're a minute in. Eight. All right. Well done. We'll, we'll switch up and do high knees, but you do butt kicks. If you... I thought butt kicks would be a nice little stretch on these quads for what we're getting ready to do. Yeah? Yep. I hate high knee. You don't like high knees? Three. I'm trying to hurry for you. Four. Come on, you got it. Five. You can choose fear or faith. You can choose worry or worship. I love that when they got back in the boat, it says the disciples fully believed. Seven. In verse 23, it says they worshiped. Eight. And before that, up to that point, the disciples weren't quite convinced of who he was. He had just fed the 5,000. He'd been healing. He'd been casting out demons. But they still weren't quite sure. But when they saw Peter, who was an everyday, average, regular old fisherman, step and walk on water, they believed who Jesus was. And I was thinking about how, how many are you up to? <sighs> Eight. All right. I was thinking about how, for the rest of us, we're ordinary, average, nothing special without Jesus. But when we trust him, when we Ten set seven. our gaze on his face, and when we step out in faith, people around us believe he is who he says he is. Right? And that's powerful. Three, two, one. You rest. I'm going to show you where we're going. You rest. One heavy weight. Or not. Hold it at your chest. Goblet squat. So toes are still forward here. Sit back. Stand squeeze. So eight of those. Or you're going to love this. Fast punches. Fast punches. That's my favorite. Don't block out your arm all the way. Catch it. Pull it back. Core tight. Okay. We're going in five. In four. In three. Two. One. So I was thinking about how... They taught, Jesus taught Peter something by his being willing to step out. But he used Peter's example to teach the other disciples that when we're willing to step out in faith, other people come to know who he is. And that matters. Sometimes we're afraid to share what the Lord's been doing because we don't want people to think, oh, that was a... We don't want people to think, oh, she thinks she's something special or whatever. We shrink back because we want people to like us. But when we're willing to testify of what he's done, others are transformed because they see the power of who he is in our life. And that matters. Wow, that was fast. Good job. Yeah. All right, I need to breathe for a second. Tag, you're it. Watch We're up to the time. Yeah, I'm watching. Time's important for me. We're only 50 seconds in. So. Bet you wish you hadn't asked that now, huh? Right. 
And one of the things that I remember from this passage as well, Jesus tells Peter after he saves him, you have a little faith. Yeah. That, was that eight? That was eight. Huh. Yep. He says you have a little faith, but... But, but... And so, wow, if Peter had just kept the faith, kept his eyes on Jesus. But you know what? The other disciples never got out of the boat. That's right. And so, we can still try. It's the faith coming out. That's it. Are you willing to step on the water? Are you I willing to that. step out? I love that. Sometimes we don't step out because we know the people around us are going to roll their ass or say, she's a little bit weird. Yeah. Just, and here's the truth. I've told y'all this before for the tribe where you've been on being rep training. But the more I know the Lord and the more I love him, the weirder I get to people. And I'm okay with that. Most days. Some days I struggle a little bit okay. with not being liked. But most days, we're almost there, y'all. 30 seconds. This one's got our heart rate up, huh? Yeah. It's like a sweat box in here. You know, people pay good money for hot sweaty yoga. We're getting it for free right here in this room. Four. Come on, we're almost there. Six. Let's get some more in. Seven. Eight. Come on, you got ten seconds. Come Go. on. Eight. Seven. Six. All right, for my long shoulders, press in. Rise up. Three. Do the work. Two. One. Holy moly. All right. Three more, y'all. All right. Three next more. exercises. For our cardio, we're doing jacks. Jumping jacks. Modify your arms. Right here. Get in arms. All right. You can. I would love that with the shoulder angle. Yeah. You can do that if you want to. Yeah. You can switch some punches. You can come up. Or you can step you out. You can up and close. Right? Yep. You can tap. All right. right. What's our strength move? Strength move is going to be a lunge and a tricep extension. So overhead, lunge back, press up. We alternate. Four per leg, I was thinking. Four per leg. Ready? Since you're already there, you keep that. Yeah. Nope. Shoot. Mess Ready? up on rotation. Set. Go. I was hoping you wanted to keep it. All right, so that weight's overhead, if that's not too much. Reverse lunge, then I'm gonna come down, press back up, four per leg. So I gotta get moving, or my partner's gonna be like, come on, girl, I'm dying with these jacks. <sighs> if that's too much impact for you, or your bladder, just modify. <sighs> How we doing over there? We're You're looking great. Well, thanks. Grateful to be moving, that was four per leg. Holy moly. Good news is that took 30 seconds, so we don't have a lot of rounds. I hate those arms. I'm gonna switch. If you can be here, it's good. Two. Come. Ah. Three. 21 and a half minutes today, start Three. to finish. I Four. need you to push. It's Four. super effective, but you gotta push. That was it? Yeah. Per leg? Yep. Wow. Aren't you glad you picked to work with me? Because he's lagging quick. And I just stand around and talk before I get going. One. I love that when Peter began to sing, he didn't stop and think about who was watching. His eyes were back to the Lord. He said, save me, save right. me. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't a long, eloquent prayer. No. It wasn't listing out it says the reasons he why he should be. Your turn. It says he shouted, uh, save me, Lord. And then immediately. I'm tired. Oh. We were planning this workout last night. Mark asked me something. Everybody asked me. But I said, you know what? We're doing these workouts for people just like us. We're not looking for perfection. This isn't going to be where somebody goes to get ready for a physique competition. Come on, I've got 45 seconds. Whoa, that's the heavy one. Let me go back down to this tent. Uh, this isn't for those who are looking to develop your six pack. This is those who want to train to live well, to right. live well. To give what you've got and let it be enough for those who are done competing and comparing and you're just ready to obey the Lord. Those that would say, Lord save me, Lord save me. 15 seconds. I have no idea how many that is. Let's switch. Let's switch. 10 seconds. Go. Go. Don't have a light. Oh, that's how you're faster. You're raising my stand. I like that. Yeah. Three, two, one. All right, five minutes left in this workout. Smart. We can do this. This is your idea. How you Press like in. It? Rise up. Do the work. He keeps saying that. Yeah. Cardio move. We got quick feet. Show them quick feet. You're good. 
Okay, then jump. I didn't see that. Come in. You just about seconds or so. Jump. So no squat. Just get up. Just jump. Get up. Get up. Alright. Strength. Plie. Upright row. Alright, so, so for guys, up. we're not going to call it a plie. We're going to call it sumo. We're going to call it sumo because that's cooler. And we're doing upright now. Alright. Keep your elbows. Blow your shoulders. Hey, I got a sweat rag, but I'm not going to share it because that'd be weird. I love you, but droplets, right? Right. Uh, we missed our time by like 30 seconds, so you're welcome. All right. That's right. Get ready. Get set. Go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go medium here. My ceiling's not very high, is it? Nope. All right. Toes go out. Sumo stand squeezing in her thigh. Weights come up. I think eight's going to be too many here. Let's go to six, okay. four, five, six. All right, you're up. So just quick feet, if that's too much, march. I love this mod. Quick feet, after five seconds, up. So no squat here. Just get up. If the jump's too much, six. stick with the quick feet. It is really hot. Hope. I'm struggling. You, what you got for me? Let's take a break. Oh, <laughs> nothing like, oh gosh. Nothing like being live on the internet when you break the light and you're about to pass out in your 90 degree home. If you're struggling, wherever you are today, we're with you. We're in it together. And we're better because we're doing it together. That was six. That's six? I think six wasn't enough. Oh well. All right, you can stay right here. I need you to keep on. I need you to keep on. We'll see if I've seen anything recently. Good job. If you're working with somebody, cheer on your partner. If you're not, six. cheer on yourself. Seven. He's going for eight. Eight. All right, switch. Oh, I should go heavy. I should go heavy. Yep. Yep. But me, I'm not giving up. I'm sticking around to see what God will do. We got 55 seconds. All right, extra breath, extra breath. Come on. Rest if you need. You should be breathless. Marcus, tell me how you felt after last Saturday's workout. Well, I was pretty weak, but the soreness finally wore off on Thursday. <laughs> I could Isn't that funny? straighten my legs. That's six. That is hilarious. Marcus is super fit. He does that three. So they do all kinds of exercises. Like he can outwork me 10 to one. By doing one of these workouts with different type training, he couldn't move. Yep. And I love it. How many push-ups did you do this week? I finished like close to 10,000. 10,000! Since January the... Seven. All right, is that six? That's eight. You got 10 seconds. Come on. 10 Go. seconds. Finish it up. We got one more round. Four, I'm going for all six. Five, six. Rest. Well done. Good job. One set left. You tell them about it. All right, for our last set, we're doing... Plank jacks. Uh, or hold a plank, either one. Yeah, yeah, you can modify hold a plank. One, two, while the other person is doing eight weighted sit ups. So we'll be on the ground, flipping over. Yeah, we may have right. to move one of us to the rug, maybe. Yeah. Right. Sit ups on the rug. So I'm weighted sit up. Your plank jacks. Right. So you can be on the wall if you can't do a real plank. Yes. Can you tell I'm stalling? Modify. This is our last one. This we is it. I think we started off with the hardest first. Yeah. Now we're just working our way down. All right. I don't know if y'all can see me once I get down there, but grab a weight. We're going to sit up with it. You can extend it or hold it to the chest. You shove a plank jack. Ready? Yep. Set. Here we go. I don't know if you can see me or not. All right. I've written down eight. So that's what I'm going for. That was two, three. I want you to try to lift using your core. Picture a string being tied to your sternum and you're lifting through it, not through your neck. I think this is seven. Yep. I hate cut jacks. I think this is eight. Okay, you're up. Tack. All right. If that's too much, tap, tap, tap. Now, forward cue, while you're in that plank, I need your shoulder over your wrist. So Marcus has shown you a variation where it's on his chest. That works perfect too. Depending on which camera you're viewing this from, you may not be able to see him good, but that's okay. Bring the weight, try to keep feet on the ground, try to lift through that sternum. Good job, how many you got? Eight. All right, I'm just gonna stay up and trade. Trade? I got out of all my solids. All right, I saw that. here we go. 
Keep on that. We have witnesses. I know, but they love me anyway. Dolce. Dolce. All right. One. Two. Oh, sorry, I'm obnoxiously breathing and counting. No, you got it. Three. We need more music here. Let me turn up. Four. Keep going. I hope it doesn't lock me down any back. Five. Wouldn't that be a shame for this one to hit the counter room floor? Six. We're working too hard for that. Come on. Seven. You're really working for sure. Eight. We're a minute and a half in. We got it. Come on. Come on, hard things. You know what's most tired right here is my shoulders. Did you feel that one? <laughs> No. No? What about with her heels? <laughs> Nothing. Is that what you were going to say? Don't say it. How many you at? I think so. Woo! <sighs> Alright. Eight. Roll it over. Okay. We're almost there. That's right. We're almost there. You're doing there. great. My mom just sent me a text. She's making masks. You're doing great. So productive. So productive. We got 30 seconds. Here we go. Get them. Okay, Marcus. Come on. Oh, Come on, you're my partner. Let's go. Let's go. One, go. Let's go. One. You know what? My shoulders are tired because I'm holding that weight out. Yeah. I'm about to find friends. Three. We're almost there. Four. Four I'm here. Four, four, four. Come on. Five. We're going to finish this. Six. Seven. Eight. Good job. Oh. All right, you're up. That's it. Yeah. I know. Talk for a minute while I'm we're done? That's it. Hey, great job. Great job, everybody. So remember, the world we know is going to be uncertain. He tells us the trials and tribulations that we're going to face. John 16, He says he's already overcome those. The battle's already won. All we have to do is keep our focus on him. But we want to control. We feel like we need to control the situation that we're in. Yeah. And that's not how it's meant to work. He wants us to rely on Him. He'll provide all of our needs. You start stretching. You got him. You keep talking. You start yeah. stretching. We, uh, he'll provide all of our needs. He tells us that. And so we don't need to worry. Seek the kingdom. Seek the kingdom first. And all these other things will be added to you. And that's hard. It's hard to do right now. A lot of people have talked about this virus and what it's doing. How it's going to affect the economy and that's scary stuff. How it's going to affect plans and um, different things that we want to do. But there's also some thought. This is forcing us to reset. We see countless stories in the Bible, in the Old Testament, where God allowed things to happen to bring His people back to Himself. So take a minute. What does that look like for you? Are you putting your trust on God? Are you keeping your gaze focused on Jesus and His provision? And if not, take some time. Get alone. One of the things that I've done is we've not been running to soccer or baseball. All the different things that usually keep us busy is taking some of that time and giving that to God. Going ahead and waking up in the morning. Meeting with Him. Spending time in His Word. The answers are there. The peace that passes all understanding is there. And right now, that's what we need. God did not send the virus. I believe that. God is a good God. But He will use it. And He will use it to accomplish His glory for our good. So, that's my word. Go back. Once you've caught your breath, you had a cup of coffee, read that scripture. Matthew 14, verses 22 through 33. Read what Peter did. And stepping out on the boat, that was courageous. That was exciting. Way to go, Peter. But I think maybe the most important of that is when he started to fall, he shouted to the Lord, Lord, save me. And Jesus immediately reached down and saved him. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I yeah. love that passage. See, I'm going to stretch. Take a pause your breath whenever you're ready. You're just going to be still and receive for a minute. I know you're busy. I know you got a lot to do. I know you have a full day. This is the most important work you can do today. This song has another four minutes left. Could you give us four minutes? So you stretch, then you rest. You just receive. The passage that Marcus is teaching us about, you did such a good job. Good job. Thanks, man. Good job. Um, the passage he's teaching us from, this happens directly after he fed the 5,000. So all these people have come, and he's taken the two fish and the five loaves. He's fed all of them. 
And it tells us in the word that the disciples yet did not know who he was. They did not recognize he was in fact Messiah. He was in fact Son of God. And so Jesus sent all the people away. He sent the disciples across the Sea of Galilee. He knew what was coming. Yet he put him in a boat and he sent him out in the storm. And I think we can learn something from that. He knew the storm was coming. He sent them anyway. And so it says the disciples were about three miles off the shore. So it's actually a lake, but they call it the Sea of Galilee. They're three miles off the shore. And they're trying to row and they can't move. And it's, it's hard and they're afraid. And it says Jesus walked to them. And Peter, he was known as the bold one. The one who said what everybody else might have been thinking. But he was the one who actually said it. I can really relate to him. Marcus always says to me, check your filter. Right? Like sometimes I speak before I think. And Peter, he's the bold one. He calls out, is it you? Is it you? If it's you, tell me to come. And Jesus said, come. And he said, come. And Peter got out of the boat and he went. Peter had to be with him. Yeah. Peter saw him. He had to be with him. And Peter immediately went. When Jesus calls, are we willing to immediately go? When he says, come. Are we willing? So we can learn from that example. But it says in 1430, when Peter saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink. And right now, some of you, we can choose to look at the face of Jesus, or we can choose to look at the bank account, or we can choose to look at the COVID-19 status updates, or we can choose to look at the news, or we can choose to look at people who are sick, or we can choose to look at whatever. It says Peter saw the wind, he was afraid, and began to sink. Where are your eyes today? Where's your gaze? Marcus has done a good job teaching us about that it says right away right away immediately jesus reached out his hand and called him he says your faith is so small why did you doubt see nothing about jesus had changed when peter began to sink he was still the same steady constant able to sustain every bit of what we need but peter took his eyes off of jesus so right now where are you focused could you set your gaze on jesus he never changes and then the last point I wrote down, I've already told you while we were moving, but the disciples began to understand who Jesus was when they saw the faith with which Peter was willing to walk. Right now, your circumstances may be hard, but you get to choose how you're going to walk forward. And the people around you will be affected by your example of trusting the Lord. It will change things. It will change you, and it will change the people around you. Are you willing to step out and go? Set your gaze. Set your gaze. You've got about a minute here, so just receive. If you're willing, turn your palms up. Listen, the Lord has something that he wants to say to you today. If we're going to be quiet, we let him speak to you.
Wednesday, 7 a.m. Friday, good Friday. This guy is off work, and I think he's going to join me again. That's right. Let's do good. seven or eight Friday. If my life I'll, I'll let you pick. Huh? Let's say eight a.m. Monday, just... seven. Wednesday, seven. Friday, eight a.m. Catch the replay if you can't join us live, right? That's right. Proud of you. That's awesome. Good job. Good job. We're high fiving you too. Way to go. If I love me, love you. Love you.